I think it's about time that I get into this topic here because exactly what's happening with PlayStation is going absolutely out of control. I have no clue what it is that they're thinking or why anything that they're putting out is remotely a good idea. But nevertheless, I will be discussing pretty much all the bad things about PlayStation right now because aside from the fact that they're not bringing back their other IPs, aside from the fact that they're shutting down studios that need to be shut down in the first place and aside from the fact that they're still supporting bad ideas like ps now and ps plus here comes um idiotic decisions like the playstation portal or this playstation pro that i keep hearing about all the bad things so i have no idea how we got here because playstation was pretty much at their prime with um, PlayStation 2 and 3 and probably even PlayStation 4. So when the PlayStation 5 was coming out, I was eh, not really excited, but something to look forward to nonetheless. Even the games that they were showing out were pretty decent. You had Sackboy, you had Kenna Bridge of Spirits, and um, interestingly enough, Goodbye Volcano High, which uh, was the most hated game that was showing off uh, back when the PS5 had its showcase. Then the pricing for the PlayStation 5 was revealed, and I immediately hated it. A $500 console, or I think it was, what, 450 for one without the disc drive? So you get that, and I thought to myself, all right, well, you know, I'll just wait for a price drop. A price drop never happened. So I waited even further for anything to warrant that price, and still... Uh, nothing that is until D brand showed up and they made their own faceplates and this is when Sony just got the memo that oh yeah we need to make faceplates yeah sure because after they sent that DMCA notice to uh, D brand D brand went back to the drum board and made their own faceplates and then Sony got the memo and made like different color ones and different color dual sense controllers so let me just preference this the best way I possibly can the PlayStation 5 is a $500 console with the disk drive. A DualSense controller is $70. And if you want to upgrade the memory to SSD, which at the time you couldn't because you need to wait for an update, which is stupid, that is a $200 SSD that you have to fork over for like one or two terabytes. Then there are the games which are now $70 bonus points if they're unfinished you get all that that is near one thousand dollars that you have to spend all that plus tax so for me i had to waste money on the console the face plates and black ones did not spend seventy dollars on ratchet and clean rift apart because that was when i was celebrating the franchise 30th anniversary Shout out to people who saw those streams by the way and then there was the controller which uh i think i had to spend like seventy dollars on anyway and then there's the ssd which was like near 200 so all that just so i can play the new games on the new console and lo and behold they come out with another one this time it is 700 dollars and normally i would have been like 700 dollars for a console that doesn't have a disc drive doesn't have a stand on it they had to buy separately i'm going to look past that because i'm pretty sure that is often spoken and just flat out say that this console is a scam there is absolutely no reason for this console to exist. There is absolutely no reason for Sony to make another PlayStation 5 when they're already struggling trying to get games out that people can actually enjoy. Because when I'm not looking at franchises that need to dust off, I'm looking at games that have absolutely no reason to exist, i.e. Concord. I never cared about Concord. Never even heard of it. Never even considered it. Like. And then it starts blowing up that um, it was going to shut down after two weeks of the development when this game was being worked on for like, what, eight years, I guess? But I honestly don't care because Dunkor was not in my list. That PlayStation stand to play back in May was absolutely awful. There was no reason for that showcase to be the way that it was. So when i'm seeing people just complaining about this new console the playstation 5 pro my response to that is why do you care no seriously like why do you care i mean it's another bullshit excuse to get inside your wallet to get your hard-earned money just for a console that makes the games look 
pretty and they said it's 120 frames per second but then there's a cpu issue meaning that the games might run at 30 frames per second like that's the issue that i'm seeing here why did they even bother making another console after the playstation 5 was like four years in at that point you just kind of think to yourself they're making these new consoles they're making this playstation portal which doesn't make any sense because uh did, doesn't that not have bluetooth in it or and I, I honestly don't know but nonetheless this is a huge step backwards compared to what playstation needs to be because you know they had all their ips in fact let me just say this right now they had crash bandicoot spiral the dragon ratchet and clank sly cooper jack and daxter uncharted the last of us back when it was good or just the standalone entry the first one the second one is trash even uh kind of bridge of spirits horizon you know i can't say much about horizon but you know a lot of people seem to like uh, horizon so then comes all these other franchises that i just don't give a shit about what the fuck is concord what is that because i can't even yeah i can't I, I i can't comprehend that like literally cannot and honestly will not comprehend there's absolutely nothing there for anybody because what is the one thing that intrigues people about concord and that's the thing nothing so when i'm seeing these franchises that nobody cares about like this and then astrobot shows up which is that saving grace of that awful state of play back in may like yeah that was it astrobot's gonna fucking kill it so and kill it it did so much in fact that it pissed off one of the directors for days gone i think i don't know but um astrobot comes in it is the saving grace it is a cute little platforming uh mascot and this is the point that really drives the issue home playstation right now is a joke and not the funny guy it is an absolute joke where they thought that having an abby sex scene was a good idea shout out to neil Druckmann, where they thought this weird overwatch marvel whatever the hell first person shooter was a good idea where they're still supporting these awful subscriptions and then comes the playstation 5 pro what are we doing here like what are they doing like what happened here you know i, I felt like that i just slept for more than i usually do woke up and then all of a sudden i'm looking at everything not making any sense so, like there was gonna be a crash game but that got canned sly cooper was gonna have a cartoon and a movie and that didn't go anywhere jack 4 was gonna happen but um i think that just went over to uncharted and then high impact games just worked on lost frontier and like i i just don't know i just don't get it i honestly don't get it you know like i wasn't really around when the playstation 1 came out or playstation 2 i mean i had my hands on an experience with a playstation 2 at a dumbass daycare center but um that's how i came introduced to um direction and clank and then eventually sly cooper and then i bought my own playstation 3 bought the sly cooper collection you know queen wrath of the white witch eternal sonata and then eventually just played all the Ratchet and Clank games and I didn't get into Jack and Daxter until a friend of mine brought it up and I played the collection on the Vita. Everything just made sense. Like PlayStation 1 through 3, then you have the PSP and PSP going Vita and then PlayStation 4 comes around and it took a while for me to actually get into it. But you know, it was a uh, all right time. I mean, didn't have all the franchises i like and then the playstation 5 comes out and then it just acts like it didn't know what the past franchises was in favor for these new ones like again kenna was all right like i really like kenna again where are all the other franchises that debuted on ps1 and 2 like and then there's a little big planet you know we still have a trilogy for that which is a full blown collection i mean side boy is cool still haven't played it yet want to where are all the good franchises at like what's going on here and then comes these new ones like again naughty dog just blew their ass out with the last of us part two for many reasons that i don't want to get into because this is going to be longer than it really needs to be and then there's all these other franchises and all these other games that just comes out of nowhere and just doesn't really pique my interest like destruction all-stars i have absolutely no clue what the hell that was trying to be so and then you know again concord which came and went 
I, I don't know what that was so yeah get rid of that um then studios were getting shut down after i don't know massive flops or playstation decided to pull the cord on them like just not move on with the contract anymore like what happened with japan studios at least that's how i read it and then um some studios in square enix were getting shut down so the people that made for spoken yeah they got the they got the x the one that made visions of mana they also got the x so i'm thinking okay what is going on here like playstation they're shutting down studios they're making inferior hardware they're continuing subscriptions that don't need to be there and then these third-party studios are not really doing these franchises justice like so far the only one that's remotely giving a shit is insomniac when they're not making marvel games because ratchet and clank rift apart at the barest minimum paid homage to uh, old franchises that people want to see again people want to see Sly Cooper people want to see Jack and they're not seeing that and then they're getting what people call woke trash like they're seeing games that aren't exciting that aren't fun to play they're like I don't I don't get it and then they're just flat out making these third person over the shoulder games like last of us and god of war like the new god of wars i can't say much about horizon i mean it looks pretty i guess but never really played it myself yet but that is the question that i think needs to be answered it's not even rhetorical what the hell happened with playstation <laughs> like what happened man like what is this what, what's going on here because this this ain't it man like this is again the playstation 5 pro is a scam because it's a 700 hundred dollar console that has no stand no uh disc drive that makes the games pretty question mark what's the point here what is the point of this device because i don't get it they say 120 frames per second. They say it's ray tracing. Uh, uh, Mudahar, you want to step in and explain this to me? Because I don't, I, I can't anymore. According to Sony's release, nothing in this upgrade list talks about a CPU. So one of the things that I mentioned last time was, you know, a game like Grand Theft Auto 6, which is most likely dropping next year, hopefully, you know, maybe there's a 60 FPS version on the PS5 Pro. There's probably not going to be a 60 FPS version. With open world games, the most important aspect of them is the constant, uh, you know, uh, real-time tick that happens with the CPU. To render thousands of NPCs, or at least the amount of NPCs that were in the GTA 5 trailer, to render those things and the logic and the world and the, and the vehicles and just the logic of Vice City running per second on your device requires a lot of CPU power, right? Now, PlayStation 5 was already something that, while well, yes, it was a big upgrade over the PlayStation 4 generation, I don't think it's going to run GTA 5, or sorry, GTA 6, at 60 frames per second. I just don't really think it's that possible. Now, of course, if you're not upgrading the CPU, there's a pretty good chance that the game is just going to be running at 30 frames, even on the PS5 Pro, except the only difference is the ray tracing might be better, and the game will run at a higher resolution, okay? How much will you notice that as you play the game with the cops chasing you as you're doing story missions, playing online? I think that really depends on the person. But as somebody that's been gaming for goddamn near my entire life, I can tell you something right now. Usually when you're in motion and sitting that far away from your television, which because this is a video game console, you're probably not going to notice the difference between like 4K or something like 1440p or 1800p or any of these resolutions, especially if that resolution keeps fluctuating as you play the game in a dynamic fashion. So nothing is set in stone yet. It's all the speculation, but I think it's just as important as to read into what exactly people are getting before they actually waste their hard-earned money on it because chances are that they're going to buy this product or any of the new products that playstation craps out and they will be dissatisfied and they'll just you know get a refund over it so this is why i am absolutely tired of companies that puts out inferior hardware only for it to not run at the frame rate they want or not have the graphics that they want or just anything that they want really so for playstation here and at the time of this recording uh they just announced like a way to change the ui in the menu instead of just giving people themes like they did in ps3 and ps4 yeah i don't know what's going on with them it's almost like nintendo where they took them a dog's age just to get um folders out for the nintendo switch 
and the Nintendo Switch is not that boring as many of so you know other than that PlayStation is just doing these step backs instead of just step ups um, they just had to bring back old franchises and just make them what they're supposed to look like now in fact I'm gonna say this right now PlayStation at this point should just make cartoons because after that nonsense that they put out, you know, PlayStation was lacking IPs when they have a plethora of IPs. Crazy motherfuckers. They just need to make cartoons again. Astrobot is proof of that. Crash Bandicoot, Spyro the Dragon, Ratchet and Clank, Sly Cooper, Jack and Daxter, even Kenner Bridge of Spirits, which looks like a Pixar film. At this point, PlayStation can just make cartoons. Just make games that look like something from Pixar or, you know, something from Illumination Studios. Something here that isn't this movie realistic setting that's in a post-apocalyptic future or just filled to the brim with robots or you know just taking place in mythological times no just make motherfucking cartoons that to me is the best way that playstation can thrive and be better than what they are now people like to see stuff that they played in playstation 1 and 2 and 3 era they can't do that anymore because uh, they're just seeing all these games that look like a horror film or something that they would see in a regular movie theater. Like, no, no, no more of this movie game nonsense, okay? Just make cartoons again. It's all right if games like Horizon are out there set in a beautiful setting filled with robots, like animal robots, sure, I guess. But no, just make cartoons again because I think that's PlayStation at their best. Like, if they could be like their own version of Nintendo, when Nintendo has all the Mario's, all the Kirby's, and Pokemon, and probably Legend of Zelda, that's fine. For the most part, that's how I see Nintendo. Most of their games look and feel like cartoons. And, you know, PlayStation with Crash, Spyro, all the other mascots I mentioned, no different. Just make cartoons, just make games that are actually fun and exciting. And again, Astrobot is way up there because that's proof that these are the kind of games that people want. Who wants Concord or who wants any of the games that I can't even list from that state of play because they're so easily forgettable. Astrobot just sticks out so well. Like normally I would say like a sore thumb, but a sore thumb Astrobot is not for obvious reasons. And then what I'm seeing in this day and age is just nonsense. Like it's just blasphemy. I cannot comprehend anything that PlayStation is doing right now with the PlayStation 5 Pro, with the PlayStation Portal, with the continued support of PlayStation Plus and I guess PlayStation Now, if that's still a thing, shutting down studios, saying that they're lacking IPs, it's all nonsense to me. And until I see an improvement, there is no justifiable reason for PlayStation to make a new console that is obviously inferior to what people had in the past. And when it comes to franchises that need a dust off, I would love to see them in this day and age, but if they're going to be a disservice, then I'd rather not. Because right now, PlayStation is a joke and not the funny kind.